are you thinking about whether or not to buy those Mithras combat cards that you've heard so much about? Do you want to move away from that well-used choose location special? Well, in this video, I am going to take a look at the Mithras combat cards and have a look at what you actually get for your purchase and also how I use them to support combat within my campaign. My name's Inwills. And welcome to the in crowd. I wonder how many times in my actual campaign have I said the words special hit location damage, please. If you're a GM of any Mithras setting, then you're probably familiar with the quickly chosen choose location, or rather sometimes the long wait while people peruse tables before the, the player ums and ahs and says, choose location. Well, I was getting this a lot in my campaign. So what I decided to do was to purchase the Mithras combat card to see if there was any way out of this situation. And to be honest with you, I was pleasantly surprised. So what do you get for your purchase? Well, I actually bought my cards from Eon Games, I think it's pronounced for $14.99. And for this, I got a lovely set of well-crafted cards and a PDF on how to use the cards and some extra little goodies. Now, before we look at that excellent PDF, let's take a closer look at the cards. So the cards are made up of 43 special effects cards and they are identified with an illustration of a Mithras combat special effect on one side and the description um, of how the effect works on the, on the opposite side. There were also four action point cards identified with the action point icon on one face and a cancelled out version on the other side, um, indicating when that action point has been used. There's four luck point cards made up in a similar way to the action point. So one side is that it's available and the opposite side that it is not. And then there are four condition cards to be used as indicators for different combat situations such as fatigue, impaled, disarm or prone or unable to attack. So the cards are well made, they're laminated to give them a nice smooth finish and they have e excellent graphics on them as well to accompany the effect as well as the type of um, weapon that some of them could be used for. The colouring of the cards allow you to instantly see whether the effect is offensive or defensive or maybe both. So this is done by the coloration around the edge of the card being red, offensive, green, defensive or blurred round like this for them both. Now before I talk about the accompanied um, PDF, I wanted to let you know how I use these cards as a DM or GM. Now obviously these cards are great for players and they can have them out in front of them which is even just as useful for my own campaign which is done online. But as a GM, I thought, am I going to use these or not? Well, I must say that the action points are absolutely fantastic. The action point card, sorry. And I use these a lot. And what I actually do, I used to use tally marks on a piece of paper. But now what I do is that I actually balance these on my keyboard so I can see the action points and turn the cards over um, as soon as I've sort of like noticed that or I recognize that they're an action point or luck point has been removed. It also, the cards also sit on my keyboard to remind me of any special effect that is in place or in game at that present moment in time. And the, the um, descriptions are perfect. They're nice and concise, easy to skim over and just to remind yourself of the um, combat special effect and the implications it will have on play. So even though, yes, I would definitely use them as a player, I've also started to use them a lot as a GM, even though the campaign is online. 
Now, if you are impressed by the cards and you think they're a really good idea, then you are going to love the accompanying PDF. But before I tell you about this, please remember that if you would like to support this channel and my dream of developing more YouTube videos in the future, then please consider liking, commenting and subscribing because it supports my uh, this channel and my dreams all at the same time. Okay, back on to the review. Now, um, as well as the physical deck of cards that you get, that comes in a nice white box, by the way, you also give get a free electronic PDF instruction guide, which you can download instantly from wherever you purchase your combat cards from. Now, to start off with, this PDF gives you an overview of the cards and how to use them and provides um, a, a key for the icons. But there's something even more useful in there. First of all, there's this excellent list of possible specials relating to certain combat styles. For example, it lists the sword and shield and what specials might be used for characters employing that combat style or that type of combat style or an archer stroke sniper. These are also extended to cover some mobs or monsters as well, including things like clawed or biting monster styles, which I think is fantastic for a DM or a GM just to quickly have a look at. Now, at the end of the PDF, there is something which is called the Stroboss Codex. Now, I'd never heard about this before and I was really excited to see it. This is an excellent addition to the card and is useful for both players and GMs. So I'm going to describe it taken directly from the codex and it states that the Strobos codex is a way of choosing special effects based on conditions and outcomes. The effects are tabulated according to their broad tactical goal, beginning with those focusing on damaging and wounding, followed by disabling, then position. And on each line, the information is presented in this order. When to use the effect, the effects available, if the special dice condition is needed, i.e. do you need a critical, a fumble or a posed roll, and if any other conditions need to be met. Now, I have to say that this is an excellent addition and there are a series of questions for the player or GM that can follow in order to choose what they're hoping to achieve and the, then the list of specials that will help them to achieve this. So let's give, let me give you an example. For example, if you are planning on disarming an opponent, it provides you with a range of options to achieve these outcomes, whether or not you are attacking or defending. Now, I can see that this is a wonderful opportunity for um, new players or GMs who are new to the combat system to recognize the full potential of combat specials. And I also think that after a while, you'll become very used to using it and it will become embedded in your normal practice. So, one. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this review and it's been helpful for you. And if you would like me to review any other supplement or addition to the Mithras rule set, then please do let me know in the comments below. Also, please keep an eye out for the new Mithras podcast. It's called Mithras Matters and it's, going, it's currently in production and hopefully should surface at the beginning of May. Now, it includes a range of session, sections, but also segments from both Lawrence Whitaker and hopefully Pete Nash. So it's well worth subscribing to if you are a dedicated um, player of the Mithras rule set or somebody who's just starting out. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I will catch you next time. And until then, happy Mithrasing. See you all later, guys. Bye.